today will be bittersweet. Criminals will be arrested and they will be set before a judge to determine their bond for their release. No worries, it's all for a good cause. In his 25th year, attorney David Singer is looking to have a successful year in fundraising for the American Cancer Society. And now I present to you Judge David Singer. You look pretty young. How, how long have you been doing this? I've been doing this for 25 years. We've been raising money for the American Cancer Society through the uh, jail and bail fundraiser. 25 years. Like I said, you look pretty young to be doing this for 25 years. Why start here? Well, it started with me with my, when I was a young married a couple, my, my mother-in-law came down with the worst cancer you possibly can have, pancreatic. And she lived the typical amount after diagnosis, which was 60 days. And uh, I wanted to do something important uh, for my wife and I to commemorate her life. So I got involved with the American Cancer Society, and they were already doing this fundraiser, Jail and Bail. And I said, I want to get involved. And uh, first, uh, I was a jailbird. Then I was a judge, and then in my third year they said, well, do you want to run the whole thing? And that was, uh, that was 20 some odd years ago, and uh, we've been doing it ever since. Your Honor, this is Mr. Lipman, and he has been accused of shaving strokes off of his golf game. How do you plead? I hate to say it, Gilbert. Ah, I guess I was caught red-handed. Oh my God. His, his, this is terrible. You, they accuse you of landing your helicopter on David Singer's lawn. Yeah. Now, Vicki, right here, I have a warrant for your arrest, and it says flirting with Starbucks customers. <laughs> All right, Doreen, you're running for circuit court judge, and you got put in jail. What, what happened? Oh, how am I going to explain that to the voters? We're in between the judge and the inmate. Have you received your verdict yet? Uh, I, I'm guilty of not doing enough. Guilty of not doing enough. That, that's not true. He, he does so much. You know, he was such a valuable person to this particular charitable event, Jail and Bail, 25th year, that I, I asked Charles to join me on the board of the American Cancer Society, and he's been on the board with us. So he, he works on many of our events now. Charles, so this is just one of the many events that you work on. What are you expecting as far as your fundraising goals for, for this event tonight? Well, last year, as a group with my company and uh, people that I know, we raised about $16,000. This year, we're hoping it'll be closer to $20,000. Hope to be close to $20,000, which will put you almost at your $5 million mark. Well, that would be great, and I couldn't do it without volunteers like uh, like Charles Verner and all the great people that he has brought into this event. So thank you, Charles, and uh, thank you for doing it year in and year out. I know your mom would be proud right now to see you out here raising money for a cause that you lost her to. Um, what can you tell us, you know, that may be encouraging to, to others, you know, who's going through the same thing? Don't give up hope and fight. Fight, 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 because you never know what can happen. I have known people who have had friends that have been on the edge and thought that they were going to be lost and gone forever within a matter of days, and they bounce back. Miracles do happen. Medicine is real. It happens. We need to fight against cancer. We need to give to this cause to get a cure for it to get rid of it, to get people well again, and so so people don't keep losing their loved ones to this horrible, horrible disease, that which takes on so many forms. Do you think his sentencing was too tough on you? No, I, I think it should have been harder. <laughs> I think it needs to be much harder because I need to do that more so during the year and try to continue to raise money like I do these two days, so that's important. And uh, cancer is something that hits every single person in this country. 
whether personally, family, or friends. And I've had so much of it in my own family. And uh, there is a concern that it's something that we have to take care of, get rid of, and cure cancer. Thank All right, you. hopefully you can make bail. I just heard your phone ring, answer that call. Sure, it's somebody that wants to donate to the American Cancer Society.